I've got a few magazines to harvest and I thought I would just flip the camera on while I'm going through these real quick. I'm just going to pull out the pages that have something on them that I want to keep for a variety of different reasons. Uh, right now I've been doing a lot of these um, places, you know, spaces and rooms. Yeah, like this where, you know, I just take a room background and then add stuff to it. So I've been doing a lot of that. So that's kind of what's catching my eye in um, the magazines that I'm looking through. And it's so funny because when you have something on your mind, then you tend to find things that kind of can be used for that purpose and you overlook things <laughs> that could be used for another purpose. You know, maybe it's just me, but I get like tunnel vision. So, um, yeah, I'll, sometimes I'll go through a magazine two or three times before I pitch it, but I, I can't keep it long because I don't have space to keep a whole bunch of magazines, but I do have space to keep a whole bunch of blank pages. <laughs> so, yeah, I'm just going to kind of pull out what I think that I might use, um, and this bird is lovely. I can tell you I might use him. This is Birds and Blooms, and it's... Right now, it's the only magazine I subscribe to. I get so many free magazines um, from different places that I don't really need to subscribe to a lot of them. Now, the free magazines that I get, they don't always have the kind of pictures that I want. Um, you know, I don't get any, like, fashion magazines. And I sometimes miss having the fashion magazine images. But I just... I'm really big on using what you've got and can get for super cheap or free. So I do sometimes use the website rewardsurvey.com and I've gotten a lot of magazines from there over the years. And you just have to sign up, sign into the website, make yourself an account. And then on occasion, I just go back and visit, and you have to answer survey questions about, like, weird things. This last one I did, there was something about, you know, air conditioning. Do you have an air conditioner? How often do you run it? Da, da, da. Another one was about a swimming pool. They're just super weird random survey questions. And then at the end of the survey, it will give you this list of magazines that, oh, each survey you, that you do, you earn points. And then you can redeem those points for certain magazines. And the list changes. You know, pretty much every time I go, it'll be just a little bit different. So um, I just see what I don't have that I might want and what I can get for just points with no extra money. So I get those. And um, they also have quite a few on there that you can get for points plus like $2. And I'm talking like a subscription to L for $2 plus whatever, you know, points it asks for. And, and Town and & Country and, um, oh, what are some other good ones? Harper's Bazaar. You know, there's several. The catch for those is that, you know, you get a whole year for like $2, but it auto-renews, and I'm super bad at <laughs> remembering to, you know, cancel before it auto-renews, and um, I, I just don't trust myself. So that's the only reason that I avoid the ones that you have to pay for, even though you don't have to pay for a lot. There's some are 99 cents just a really good way to get some uh, really inexpensive magazines sent to your house if that's your goal and then I've said many times that I have a I have a relationship with my local um, tourist and visitors bureau and they actually just call me now and then and say, hey, we have a couple boxes for you to come pick up. And it's all their outdated local magazines, regional magazines, travel guides. And I just, you know, keep and use what I want and then recycle the rest. So 
um, that's a really good option if you can get a relationship like that and even like my hairstylist she gets some magazines at her place and then every time I go in to get my hair done I just pick out the old ones and take with me so yeah there's options for cheap and free if you don't want to subscribe and this but where was I, I got sidetracked oh yeah this is like the only one I outright pay for and it's like ten dollars for a year and I think it's only like is it every other month or every quarter I don't remember but totally worth it like I you know I'm these are all usable <laughs> there's something on almost every page like see that little bee I need that I need that bee and there's probably there's more bees over here and I'm gonna have to make decisions as to do I want the front or the back you know, but oh, look, it's like they're, they got a little smooch happening. I need that. And I need this owl. So many good pictures, good color. And that's kind of what I'm looking for, too. I'm looking for words. I'm looking for pictures. I'm looking for just overall color. Sometimes it's just like, oh, this would make a perfect paper bead. So I have a special bin that I, um, do I need that? I'll let that one go. Oh, but I probably need that. Yeah, okay, keep those. Um, yeah, I have a special bin for paper beads. And I might need a hummingbird feeder. So, yeah, I was going to say, you know, this way I just go through and keep the pages that I want so that I don't have to keep the whole entire magazine. <laughs> this is all that's left of the whole entire magazine. <laughs> So in this case, I probably could have just kept the whole thing. <laughs> yeah. Okay, there's literally like three pages in here that I don't need. That's all that's left. <laughs> um, okay. Recycle bin <laughs> and my keep stack. And it's funny because then later I'll go back to this keep stack and sometimes <laughs> I can't figure out what in the heck it is that I wanted on that page. And that tells me that I probably really didn't need it. <laughs> so, yeah. Okay. There's Birds and Blooms. Sports Illustrated. I, this is one that I got for free in the at the Rewards Survey website. And um, I have a lot of purple for paper beads, so I'm probably not going to keep that one. It does have that nice blue. And it's a good one. Okay, fine. I'll keep it. Um, yeah, I don't often get a lot of images out of this one, but sometimes, you know, there's, there's just that handful that makes it worth it. Oh, puppies. So cute. I don't know, though. Oh, I need that. I've saved this, uh, same ad from another magazine, and that's just a big old hand. That's like bigger than life size and a big old french fry but you know you just never know plus i love her manicure so yeah that's a keeper okay. don't need that and i know that i pass over a lot of things that y'all are like oh my gosh i would have kept that that's so great um But I'm to the point where I have to draw a line somewhere. I can't keep absolutely everything. I did it first, but I can't do that anymore because I already have such a large collection. And I do use it. I use my stuff, but I don't, I don't use nearly as much as I collect. So I have to try to be a little bit grown up about it and not save just absolutely everything. But if you're just starting out and you're building your stash, then yeah, save it. You can always go through later and and uh, undo what you did. <laughs> you're thinking, what, what would I even do with this? I don't know, but I sure like looking at it. So I think I'm just going to go ahead and save it. <laughs> what else do we have? Oh, yeah. Yeah, we're just going to save that. <laughs> I'll go in my personal collection. <laughs> Okay. <clears throat> um, yeah, I don't 
need a lot of football players. Nice color, but a little too much on the dark side. I look at him sitting in that little beach chair. I could do something with him. He could be looking at something interesting besides whatever that is. That's kind of fun. I like these these cartoon um, illustrated illustrated sports equipment. I'm gonna keep these and just cut those out. Do I need? I might need that. I'm not sure. So yeah, this one needs to be kept. And I kind of pull off. I mean, I think you saw it just pulled the cover and you know stuff that I've already gone through just because I get a cleaner um, when I pull the page it pulls off a lot cleaner than when I don't do that so that's the only reason I do that they all get trimmed down eventually right I don't know I might need his head for something and look at look at his face I feel like I need his face what they're doing, but okay. <laughs> I have no idea what's going on here, but I like it. <laughs> I'm keeping it. I might need a giant coin. I hate it when they overlap like that. I could keep that one, but no, I'm already, I'm already over it. So this is probably about all I'm gonna get out of. Sports Illustrated. Okay, these will go to the recycle bin. That was really more than I usually get from that magazine. It's um doesn't appeal to me often. Food and wine. Food magazines are awesome just because of all of the color. I do I make a lot of paper beads out of food magazines. And I never met a wine bottle that I didn't love. <laughs> and this is one. I probably have 10 of these in my stash. Now I have 11. So there we go. And I have, I think I've saved Mr. Morgan Freeman the same exact ad a couple of times. But I need more. And I have been saving some covers. This one's pretty flimsy. I'm not going to bother with it. But you know, my little... Um, collage paper doll house rooms here are on magazine covers and I did some over the weekend look at this one this was a travel guide for western Arkansas <laughs> gorgeous color so it's kind of also a flimsy cover but the color made up for it so I had a whole big stack of these, so I saved three. Cityscapes is our um, Northwest Arkansas regional, you know, city magazine. It's just all about Northwest Arkansas. I think a lot of cities have something similar to this. And they're free. You can pick them up all over town in uh, restaurants and different businesses and hair salons. They'll often have those. They get them for free. And... Yeah, that's a good little magazine. And AY About You is another Arkansas Arkansas lifestyle magazine. And it's just kind of a statewide um, magazine also that you can pick up for free in different areas. And it has good images and good covers. This is another AY. Y'all look at this cover. Is that not awesome? And this is the only one I got. This was from the Travel Bureau. And I usually get stacks of like 20, 10 or 20 of each magazine. And this was the only one in the last set of boxes that they gave me. So I tore it off and front and back cover because I'm feeling I might need to use it for something special. Because I love the art on it. So yeah, if the cover speaks to me, I'll keep it. 
just because, you know, I'm doing something with covers right now. Okay. Food and wine. Um, that bottle's too plain. I'm not going to bother with it. This one I have saved before for the colors because it makes good paper beads and I don't get a lot of red for paper beads. I've saved that one before. And just because I've saved it before doesn't mean I won't save it again. But a lot of these, when I say I've saved it before, that means I've got 12 <laughs> of them. <laughs> Which is not something that you would normally, you know, need to keep 12 of the same thing. But I don't know why I need this, but I do. It's got a lot of color. Um, but I do sometimes teach local classes. And so having multiples of the same thing does sometimes make sense for me. Uh, I, I like his face. Okay. I have a lot of glasses and, you know, drinks and beverages and stuff, but that one's not really... Oh, that's kind of fun, but it doesn't make sense. Maybe just that part of it would... I can't not... Yeah, I'm going to keep that. It's a nice room, but no. Nope. Oh, man. Are these like, what is this? Chiles and Nogada? I like me a good chili relleno. Is that like a chili relleno? That's what it looks like. Oh, see, just the color and pattern here. Yeah, I like that. This is a nice one too, but those, I don't know, those olives, the dark color is bugging me. I don't want it. Okay. Too much brown. And I don't really want that. Mm, nope. Sometimes I like a bowl that you can put weird stuff in. And I keep that one. Alright, need a big bowl of something. This would be a good keeper. And I like this background and probably that bottle too, so that's a keeper. And I'm all about easy to cut out because Fussy cutting is not something I enjoy at all. <laughs> In fact, I super duper hate it. Last weekend, I did a huge fussy cutting session. And so I'm at the point where if I never fussy cut again, I'm good. Um, but I'm going to have to because I'm going to want to use some of these things and then I will. I'll make myself do it. But it's just ooh, purple. Yeah, it's not my favorite thing to do. So I tend to look for things that are easy to cut out. This one of the reasons that I cut out so many bottles is just because I can. <laughs> so I do. <laughs> That's got some rich color and I don't know. I'm gonna keep oh, and look at that. See, and nine times out of ten, I'm going to use these as like a, a background something or, you know, doodle some flowers over them or, you know, something like that. That's kind of nice. You know, if you need something light green. That might be. Uh, or that one. We will have to decide. And in these cases, I may just save the whole picture, the whole sheet. I mean, yeah, I could photocopy it, but I rarely do that. I'll do it on occasion, but rarely. Uh, 
illustrations are cute, but I don't think so. They're a little weird to cut out. And <laughs> you could replace this with all kinds of fun stuff. issue and I've got me a pretty good stack going here and the last one I'm going to do is Wine Spectator. This is another one that I get from uh, rewardsurvey.com and I've gotten Wine Specta Spectator and they also have Whiskey Advocate. This is an oversized magazine. See these are the normal size and this is Wine Spectator. So it's kind of fun, you know, because of its big size. There's just some, some extra funness you can get out of these. Plus, there's always a lot of easy-to-cut-out bottles. <laughs> and I like me some bottles. <laughs> and because I've, sub I say subscribed, but I've gotten it for free for like several years, I already have a lot of the ads in here. This one. I've cut out these individual little parts, this person, the hand with the glass, you know, even part of the bottle's missing, and I don't care because it's all this background stuff that's so fun. So I'm going to keep that. Okay. And I have a whole collection of just wine bottle labels. That's a nice glass. Okay, I want that. And I just, I want the label for that. I don't need the whole bottle. It's very really interesting. This is some good color and pattern. I'll probably keep that. And a solution for smelly canned wine. I didn't even know canned wine was a thing. Huh. Okay. Oh, well, I like the cans. I don't know that I need the... the. You know, I actually may cut that out separately because you can use that for a lot of different things and it would, it would make a statement depending on how it's used. <laughs> one of these that I folded like this the whole thing to make a tall skinny junk journal out of it that was fun because then you can use a lot of the some of the models in fashion magazines you know take up the whole page and they're just a little too big for a lot of our journals but not this one you can put all your tall people in here mm, I like that Pretty, but I don't think I need it. <sighs> Did I cut them out before? They look familiar to me. I may have. But since I don't remember, I may need them again. be fun but there's a lot of yeah no too much trouble that one's not as much trouble but 
Mm. Oh, these are all really cute. I just don't see me using them. See me hoarding them forever. Sometimes it pays to hoard. Let me just show you. Okay, I just put this together today. How perfect is that? I cut this girl out, I don't know, years and years and years and years ago. I don't even know how many, but a lot of years ago. And then she was in my binder where I keep all my paper doll stuff, you know, and I've pulled her out and thought about using her here and there, and she just wasn't quite right. I needed just the right background for her, and look, I found this one just the other day, and as soon as I saw it, I was flipping through the magazine, I instantly thought about her dress, and it was like she was made to go on that page. I don't know what else will happen on this page. Maybe nothing because this is so awesome. And I love it. It was like serendipity. It was meant to be. And I was so glad I hoarded her for all those years. Not that I condone becoming a hoarder unless you can do it in a very neat and organized way. <laughs> then it's okay. Then it's not hoarding. But yeah. Sometimes you just get a gut feeling that you need to hold on to something and not use it just yet. And then the right thing will come along and you'll instantly know it. That's so gratifying. This particular issue just didn't have a whole lot of fun stuff. I do cut out these labels. They're like advertisements for um, some of the different wines. They like rate them. And so I have a whole bunch of these labels. They're fun and easy to cut out. And I don't think I've used a single one because I don't really know what to do with them. But you know what? I have them. And someday I'm going to know what to do with them. I might just make a book of wine labels. Who knows? Yeah, this was a kind of a boring issue. But still, I found some good stuff. And that's all I need out of that. So, I've got me some uh, fussy cutting and sorting and organizing to do. I think every one of these magazines was a different size. They were. How fun is that? <laughs> okay. Um, but I just wanted to... Uh, Go through those with y'all, give you some ideas on things that you can keep, stuff you can do with them, and um, I can't think of anything else to say. The end. <laughs>